Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager Install, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're going to start with the vRealize Easy Installer, which you can download from myvmware.com. comes with two options, Install and Migrate. Migrate is for migrating from a previous version, and Install is to install a new one. We have uh, vRealize Automation, Lifecycle Manager and Identity, Man Identity Manager we can deploy using this tool. I'm going to just deploy the Lifecycle Manager and later on we'll do the I Identity Manager as well. So first thing to do is just read through the license agreement, make sure you've read and understand that. And then decide if we want to join the Customer Experience Improvement Program. Again a tick box to opt in or out for that. So I'm going to, first of all, it's going to ask me for my vCenter server host name. It does say the FQDN or IP, although the warning says it must be a FQDN. IP address or FQDN both work in my experience. So I'm going to use the uh, vCenter administrator username and password here. Just double check that everything there looks right. Accept the certificate. Then I'm going to select a location. So I don't have a specific folder for this. I'll put it in discovered machines or maybe maybe vCenter be a better place to put it. Then I'm going to select a resource. I was expecting to find a machine here, but actually I picked the cluster first. And then on the next screen I go into more detail about which host and which storage. And I think I'll pick the VROPS data store here. I'm going to stick it on standard switch 0, VLAN 0. And I'm on a, a 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network, so I'll just put the subnet mask in there. My local DNS server because I do need forward and reverse lookup working properly. I've mentioned in previous videos that I use um, a Synology NAS and the DNS package. Seems to be the easiest way of having local DNS resolution. But again, it must be forward and reverse for most of these things to work properly. And a comma separated list of NTP servers. I'm sure I've got a bag of them over here somewhere. Okay, there we go. There's our NTP servers, comma separated. Some applications require them comma separated, some require them space separated. Just make sure you read the instructions properly. So give the appliance a name. And as usual, I tend to use um, the last part of the name as, a, as, as the IP address just to help me when I'm trying to find these things. And again, an FQDM. We'll just stick with the default data center and default vCenter here. And a slight bit of confusion here. Um, this is where it's prompted me to install VMware Identity Manager. I opted to tick skip and do it later, and then it told me you have to do it anyway, unless you've already got an existing one that you can point us back at. So unless you already have an Identity Manager, you'll need to install one as part of this step. My first error here was not actually having this set up in DNS um, already which with hindsight I should have done first. It took a little bit longer for this to configure itself because I had to go and um, set it up in forward and reverse DNS and then retry 
the identity manager config again but at least if you've watched this video you'll know to set this up first And again, I wasn't expecting this step here, so I'm just going to use administrator at vSphere.local and hope that that's not going to cause me some problems later on. And at this point, I'll skip vRealize automation because, again, I haven't prepped for this at this point. Just a summary of all the settings and configuration that I've picked. All of that looks okay. Through the magic of video editing, we'll probably skip 20 30 minutes here. And then you'll see when it's finished, it gives us a link to the appliance itself. We're not going to talk too much about this just yet, we will configure this more. But it was slightly annoying for me that it had appeared in the wrong location, so I wanted to fix this first. After a bit of um, clicking around, I found if you click here, this is where you set the default location, so I can put in London so it doesn't hurt my eyes every time I look at the map of the world and it's in the wrong place and we're not going to cover them in this video um, sorry there you go there it is back in the right place so we're not going to cover these in this video but here are some of the other components that we'll look at in future versions of the video and that was the vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager install part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful